Hello. <laughs> I'm Sia Gui, a third year sociology student at Needham, and I'm running for Cusa president. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Thank God, you. it's such a big room. It feels like we've got like three rooms in one here. Yeah, well, I've, I've tried to, uh, I recently did a rearrangement of my furniture, tried to create distinct spaces. <laughs> it's my bed relaxing area for nice. sleeping. A study area where I can also quickly roll the desk over to the dining area. Oh my god, it's like a whole house <laughs> in here. And then a nice lounge, living room, relaxing yeah, very, very nice bars on the table there, can Thank you tell you. us about that? Um, so I actually got this from, uh, I think, a, a charity shop um, in the Grafton Centre because I was going to King's Ingle or King's Affair. So like, I went with like the vase and then I had like this, like tied to my belt. I don't even oh, remember nice. what the theme was, but it was something to do with ornaments. <laughs> so uh, this is like a bit of a, a hoarder. <laughs> um, like a mixture of sort of theatre stuff, but then some of the campaigns you've been on as well. Yeah, so this kind of, I guess, represents all the things that I have memorabilia from that I've done at Cambridge um, that I think is worth remembering. All and is that like a general board. theme? Like obviously you've got the theatre and the activism, like do the two go hand in hand? Like. Um, what, 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 what does this tell us about you? <laughs> I think a little bit in terms of I think um, something about me is that I, I just do like quite a lot of different things um, around the university and like different groups or different activities or whatever. So yeah, I, I would say that like theatre and activism and stuff like that, it can't really be separated in like, a, a, like really neat ways um, and like you're always you know, doing stuff because you think it's important. <laughs> right, talking of important things, should we yeah. sit down and have a chat about okay. your manifesto? Yes, cool. <laughs> So yeah, we're, we're back inside your lounge over here. Yeah. <laughs> Beautifully comfortable. <laughs> I'm going straight to your manifesto. Um, cool. The first word you use to describe yourself, um, top left corner, uh, is principled. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm just wondering what that means in practice if, you, if you're elected. In practice, um, I guess that means that I am very, well, I would be, if I was like to be very keen to, you know, stand up for the things that I believe in and, um, like publicly and also in my actions um really like try and act on what i think is important but again obviously if i were to be elected i don't know who else is going to be elected uh depending on who else on the team they may not share my vision uh it will be more difficult but yeah, yeah. No, i'm just wondering <laughs> how far how yeah. far you would take that really because you are a very principled person and doing a lot of campaigning and believe very strongly in, in many causes mm. um, but as KUSU president your role I suppose would be to to represent the majority view of students so I was wondering if there was a situation where it's clear that the majority of students don't share the same principle as you would you kind of bow to that? Um, I'm not really sure like what kind of like situation you would be talking about because I think for example a lot of things that I put on my manifesto are, you know, I spoke about prevent, um, that emotion that is kind of similar to what I would do has already passed at, like, QC Council. Yeah, um, something or, like the strikes, maybe. Or how far, I guess, do you think you, as QC president, would tell students what to think? Um, I think that it's always hard to know, like, what the majority thinks when many people, like, sometimes don't get involved or don't choose not to express uh, what they feel in like official channels like <laughs> um, like voting. Um, I think that it is important for KUSU as a students union to be political. Um, and I think because when you're tackling the problems that students face, I think your approach, what you choose to do about it, what you think even the root of the problem is uh, and what you want to make better is definitely in many ways defined by your political vision or yeah. your principles. Um, let me say, if I were to be elected, um, I would proceed as I have stated in my manifesto. What I'm wondering really yeah. is, um, if students want to vote for you, do they have mm -hmm. to kind of pretty much agree with every principle that you've outlined in your manifesto and elsewhere? Because I think they might, maybe they might worry <coughs> that you know, whereas a more centrist kind of centre ground Nick Clegg kind of candidate would would like compromise and 
and be willing to like adopt an opinion that isn't really theirs in order to represent most students? Is that something that you'd be prepared to do? An example is like divestment, for example, in terms of I do support divestment, but if I didn't, I would have to anyway, because Kusu Council has voted to support divestment, because Regent House has also voted to support divestment. Um, me yeah. deciding that I don't like divestment, I can't, I can't like fight against divestment as yeah. UC president. Well, you, you put your argument yeah. across the students, yeah. you told them what you think, um, and yeah. would you expect them to, to think, think the same and act accordingly, or would you, would you want to represent their views? Well, I would hope that I would be able to put across my point or my perspective or my argument well enough to sway students or to convince students or to even, you know, uh, yeah, I, I think I, I like would try and do that. But, you know, if there were to be a referendum and 80% of students voted that they don't think that the curriculum should be decolonized, then that's something I would have to take seriously into consideration. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think that would happen. And, and something like prevent, um, just yeah. to finish on the policies, um, I think you're, you're quite ambitious with a lot of what you want to do. I just mm -hmm. wonder how much you think you'll be able to achieve and especially with something like prevent, which is a national sort of mm -hmm. government approach to tackling terrorism do you think mm -hmm. you know the university let alone kusi will have its hands tied no i don't because i think that so firstly the what i spoke about in my manifesto you know the rights-based approach is actually modeled on something that has already been done at the university of oxford mm -hmm. um, and secondly because there is a duty to implement prevent and i'm not going to say don't do it because they have to but there are so many different ways to do it and different things to keep in mind um, yeah. and I think what's important when implementing it as you have to is to have transparency um, and accountability and to make sure that you know people's freedom of expression freedom of speech is protected and that a certain demographics demographics of students for example Muslim students BME students aren't disproportionately targeted yeah. or made to feel isolated or Paranoid. Another word you use a lot as well as principle is empowering, empowerment. Mm -hmm. uh, so just wondering what you mean by that and how you propose to, to empower mm -hmm. students. So I think that a lot of things about Cambridge can cause students to feel disempowered. Um, for example, with prevent, not knowing what's going on, mm -hmm. not knowing how your college is implementing it or what they're even doing, uh, not knowing like if anything has been done, and if it's been done, what's going on? Um, and if you don't know anything, then yeah. it's hard to know where to start or even know that you have a right yeah. to complain. I'm just wondering how much your focus between sort of mm -hmm. campaigning and the sort of more, more of a service that the, that CUSI provides, what the balance will be like, mm -hmm. and what you would say to students who really are coming to Cambridge, they only really care about their degree, what's going on in their college maybe, and their friends, and they think, you know, I've got far too much to be to be getting on with in campaigns. So what you would say yeah. to them? What do you mean by service? Um, you know, the, the other sort of things like the welfare provisions mm -hmm. that, that KUSU provides and, yeah. and, the, and the forums and, and that sort of thing and how, wh yeah. what the balance would be. Yeah, so I think like the welfare provisions obviously will stay there. <laughs> like yeah. I am for welfare, welfare provisions. Um, but will you, for example, be going to different colleges to, to talk to mm -hmm. various JCR members and, yeah. and looking in that way rather than so both essentially yeah i think as well in terms of empowerment is that um talking to jcrs uh, and mcrs um like coordinating between them for example with the rent campaign um a lot of the reason for why is you know achieved like a bit more success perhaps than um past attempts might have done yeah is because there is you know a university-wide network sharing resources, coordinating with each other, sharing skills, um, building up like a, a university-wide feeling so that, you know, JCRs don't feel or don't have to feel like they have no power at their college. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, we're, so will yeah. KUSU sort of be more radical under you compared to the most recent sort of presidents? Um, what's wrong more radical? Uh, yeah, I, I would hope that it would be effective and radical <laughs> in achieving what I think um, like students want.